Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about something pretty fun. It's 2025, so things are moving fast. We now have AI laptops. That's right, we will be discussing AI laptops versus regular laptops. What they actually do, who needs one, and if they're worth the hype. Spoiler, this isn't a marketing fluff. I don't get paid to sell AI laptops. So everything I say is going to be factual, and these things are actually pretty wild. So... What's an AI laptop? Well, basically it's like your PC, but with a brain upgrade. Instead of just following orders, it actually learns your habits, adapting to the work you do, and even helping you cheat, at, I mean, uh, efficiently manage your daily tasks, right? These laptops come with MPUs, neural processing units. That's some sci-fi stuff right there. Think of them as like little chips dedicated to man uh, managing that AI magic inside your machine. I'm talking real-time translation, noise cancellation, auto-focusing on video calls, background blur so nobody can see your messy room when you forget to do it. Yeah, it's like having a built-in intern who knows what you want and need when you need it on your computer. So again, let's break it down. What? Where's the fun? What's the, what's the point? Why would you spend all this extra money to get an MPU AI computer, right? So again, cleaning up those video calls to make you look less like a potato. That's pretty sweet speeds up your file searching now i know a lot of people have issues with that working here at my computer works losing files finding files seems to be a daily battle for some people this could speed that up and find that essay you wrote back in 2009 in 2.5 seconds it'll also cancel out background noise so your keyboard smashing doesn't sound like a jackhammer right not good and one of my favorites it'll manage your battery life smarter than you ever could Put simply, a regular PC is kind of like a flip phone. It works, but an AI PC, well, that's the smartphone upgrade we've been looking for. Once you switch, it's hard to go back. All right, so now for the important part. Who actually needs one of these AI laptops right now, okay? Because this is a newer thing, right? Not everybody needs them. We all know the newer tech is usually the more expensive tech. So who actually needs this type of laptop? Well, it's going to be your content creators out there professionals who are juggling big projects or those power users that have a ton of apps and tabs open all the time yeah ai laptops are going to be 100 percent worth it for those individuals they'll save you time sanity and maybe even a few hairs but if you're a student just writing papers or you're just streaming on netflix shopping on amazon yelling at those sports highlights you can sit on the waiting list for a bit okay you don't really need one no shame in holding off Till the prices come down. And since we're on the subject, why don't we talk about some of the hot picks we have out there? Let's talk about the starting lineup on solid AI computers. We've got the Microsoft Surface laptops, right? These new Microsoft Surface laptops come with those MPUs built in. They've got a super sleek design. They're Copilot Plus uh, integrated into it, right? So these are pretty great choice if you want to go with the Microsoft route, okay? Lenovo also has their Yoga Pro 9i. It's a creative beast. Lots of power. Again, MPU, ability to use that AI chip. HP also has its version, the HP Spectre X360 14. Uh, some of these names. Tuned for visuals, audio, and battery life, okay? Dell's got its version, the Dell XPS 13, small but mighty. The Asus ZenBook 14 OLED is not a bad choice nor is the Acer Swift Go 14. So each company essentially has their own version of these AI laptops. It's up to you to choose. Now I know what some of you are probably thinking right now. Wait, do I really want my laptop watching everything I do? Well, the good news is you can totally turn these features off whenever you want. Don't want Copilot? Switch it off. Don't want the AI adjusting your battery? Disable it. You're in control here. It's not Skynet yet, so it doesn't have full control. And here's the bottom line. AI laptops aren't just a 2025 gimmick, guys. These are actually making PCs faster, smarter, and less annoying to use for people. If you're a creator, pro, or a power user, or just somebody who doesn't really know how to use their computer, grabbing one of these might be a good idea. But if you're a casual user, you hardly use your machine, you know how it works as it stands right now, well, these AI features might be a bit much. You might want to hold off, like I said, until Again, everybody's kind of using them and you can ask your friend, hey, how do I do this? Because they might not have one. It's kind of nice to have that right when you're on the same page as the people around you. And hey, if you get stuck 
and you don't know how to use your new AI laptop, you could always call us here at My Computer Works. We'd be happy to help you out. Reach out to us via the number at the beginning, the end of the video, and down in the description. While you're down there, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.